It couldn't be any easier to make this rich, spicy, Moorish broth. I have all the cheats for this one, my friends. This is my slow cooker chicken laksa noodle soup. All right, guys, insanely rich, spicy broth coming up, but like with almost no effort. Let's get straight on to doing that. First of all, uh, I'm gonna just put some oil into my pan here. And even though we're doing a slow cooker uh, recipe here, I still like to always kind of, um, you know, do whatever I can to develop some flavors before I get everything into the slow cooker pot because you don't get the same searing and the same heat that you would from a pan. So anything that needs, uh, you know, that kind of attention always gets it even though I'm using the slow cooker. So in this case, it's curry paste that needs the attention here. Um, curry paste really always benefits from a little bit of love uh, in some hot Hot oil, all the aromatics and flavors then get released. And you don't want that pan too hot because red curry paste uh, and oil means splatter. <laughs> so yes, I am using a Thai red curry paste for this one. Uh, you can use Luxa paste if you are somewhere where that's readily available. I often use Thai red curry paste for this because um, I often have Thai red curry paste in my pantry because I'm half Thai. <laughs> so I just want to give this a little bit of time here. Just a little bit of a sizzle. Now to give my Thai red curry paste that kind of curry laksa kind of flavor, uh, I'm gonna add some curry powder here. Now to that, I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken stock. And again, because I'm making a little cheats version today, that is a store-bought chicken stock. No need to be a hero every night of the week. And you just wanna let that bubble away for a couple of minutes here. So now we have this gorgeous spice paste and I'm gonna pop that into my slow cooker bowl. So if you didn't wanna use a slow cooker here, you could pop this into um, a regular, you know, large pot uh, and you could have it simmering on the stove top for, you know, about 90 minutes or so would be good. I guess the, um, the benefit of using the slow cooker is that you don't have to come back and check it. Um, you know, you can just let it sit around all day while you're at work, so, you know, but choose your own adventure there, guys. I'm gonna add in the rest of my chicken stock here. Let's give that a mix. And now here's my chicken. And now this is gonna go into my slow cooker, six hours on low. Okay, so it's been a very busy day here <laughs> in my studio. We're back here in the afternoon and Check this out. Okay, our chicken is looking quite delightful. I did kind of turn it around a couple of times just so I got a really lovely even color all over the chicken, but you don't need to do that. It's made more, uh, you know, a color thing. So um, this is looking really good. I'm gonna take my chicken out and just pop our little friend here into a bowl. Now just shred that chicken. It'll be really nice and soft. Now all of this soup that's going on in here, this stuff is like liquid gold, it's smelling amazing. It does need a few little extra bits and pieces here. So I'm just gonna pour this out into a pot. Now I also wanna add some extra oomph here. So I'm gonna go in with some fish sauce and just a little dash of sugar. So now we need some coconut cream. Just mix that through and already that beautiful color, you know, that creaminess and then the, the beautiful red spiced oil on top is looking so good. Uh, what I do wanna do though is heat this up a little just to, to get that coconut milk and all those flavors making friends in there. So just a couple of minutes. So while our broth is doing its thing, let's get all of our other little bits and pieces going. So I want some noodles here. I've got some really lovely Chinese fresh noodles here, but any kind of noodle adventure you want is totally cool. Some boiling water. Okay, noodles look good. Let's grab those out. And so one other little thing I'm doing here, it's, it's totally an optional, but I've always got frozen dumplings in my freezer. So I thought, why not just add them in? Because, you know, dumplings make everything better. Now we want to add in some of our shredded chicken. Now just a few other little extras here. I've got some coriander, some chili and an egg. So let's get some of that amazing broth. Look at that color. That is just like joy in a pot. 
I want some bean shoots here, my egg. Building a laksa bowl is all about like the extra bits, I reckon. <laughs> some coriander and chili. So there you go, friends. That's my very cheat kind of version of laksa noodle soup. Uh, let's get in here and try it though, because I can't wait to taste that broth. Ah, oh, wow, that is like a huge explosion of flavor. <laughs> it's really spicy, which is just the way I like it. Ah, oh, that is so good. It's just like the complexity of the flavor is incredible. I mean, you're getting this kind of like lovely curry kind of flavor, but then you've got the creamy coconut. Mm. It is so good and ridiculously easy. Oh. Mm. So good, love it. Love, love, love. Mm. I just need to go away now, quietly. Leave me with my bowl. <laughs> If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys.